Hello everyone, CSWork here, and I've been playing some Minecraft Dungeons. And if you're familiar with the game, there's a point in the soggy cave that you come across this puzzle where simply spamming a bunch of pressure plates will allow you to pass through. I want to create a more secure system than this, so let's hop on over to Minecraft. So my objective was to create a simple 10-digit combo lock that would only activate once the player enters the proper passcode and then hits enter. I added a reset button in case the player messes up. So the proper combination for this one is 1042. Let's make sure we have it reset and enter the password of 1042. I am entering it slow, but once we hit enter here, we'll see the door open for a brief moment before closing again. And I added a reset so someone else can't come along and hit enter after you've entered the proper combination. And let's go ahead and enter a pro improper number like uh, 5 and then the proper combination of 1042. And once we hit enter, we'll see it doesn't activate. And that's because this fail our snore lecture A has been turned on, preventing us from entering. Okay, and then if I hit reset and then do the proper combination again, what we're going to see is it will turn on and close again. Perfect. So the whole system here is actually rather simple and compact. It all fits within a chunk, this particular one. The dimensions is 7 tall by 12 across, and the width length is going to be 8 plus n times 2, where n is the number of digits. And so what we have here first is a simple decoder for the 9-digit combo lock. And what happens is it puts the digits in 6, 9, 3, 0, 2, 8, 1, 5, and 4, 7 for each of the repeaters here. And the first powered rail that all the repeaters are going to activate is our detection for any time we hit a number. And what that's going to do is move our RS NOR lecture right here by one digit forward. And from there, what we have is a simple fail line here of powered rail. And the only one that's not going to fail is the observer because the observer doesn't send a signal down if a repeater powers it, but all these solid blocks do. So then what happens is if it fails, it's going to briefly activate this uh, repeater to deactivate the torch and I'll briefly turn this uh, torch on before the RS normal lecture ray prevents it from doing its thing uh, at a later time and at the very end we added a full uh, fail system just in case someone enters another digit that will in fact uh, allow this to fail so what we'll see here is if I enter the wrong digit immediately the RS normal lecture ray will turn on and that will prevent it from entering because the only way you can enter the or hit enter is if all the torches in the RS Norlatch array are off and the fail switch have not been turned off, then this line is deactivated. Then from there, once you hit enter, it'll deactivate this torch. And so this simple AND gate will then allow this torch to turn on, allowing this uh, pulse extender to deactivate the torch over here and then, in this case, open the door. And yes, I just went with this so that it would fit within the chunk. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started with that tutorial. Okay, so we're going to start off with a row of three note blocks, and we're going to make that four tall, and that's going to allow the player to interact. Let's add something on top so that it's quiet. All right, and we will have observers on the back like so, observing each of the note blocks individually. And now for these middle edge ones, we're going to go over, and on the top, we're going to go up. And now we're just going to go straight across with a row of observers and solid blocks there. Okay, and now for the middle section, or the bottom section, we're going to go out one and we're going to place solid blocks there and now we can go out for those I'm going to go over this way and up and over for number zero and then that way and down and down and then back for number five I think that would be okay and now we will have a row of repeaters here okay and let's add the top row of repeaters like so and we need a row of solid blocks for them to activate, like so. And this will be our first detection line, so we need some powered rail and a downward facing observer here. And that's going to activate our RS Nora latch array. So let's go ahead and grab one more repeater. Okay, and now from here, what you're going to do is just simply repeat the pattern for as many times as, for as many digits as you got in your system. You need to place on the repeaters first. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's going to be rather difficult. Okay. And then whatever combination you want, that's where you put your observer. So let's say I wanted zero. I'd put the observer here and the rest of them will be solid blocks to activate the powered rail there. Okay. And powered rail there and our observer there. 
and you would repeat that for as many times as you want and on the end one make sure that you do not have an observer okay now for our, our rs normal latch array we're just going to go and do like three here we will line it up with the fail line here. So a repeater there, there, and there. And we will go over two blocks. Oh, I should mention that this repeater does need to be at the second delay. Otherwise, we will not be able to deactivate the torches. Okay, dust on all that stuff. Uh, two blocks there, like that. And we will have a torch sitting straight up on the bottom one. And dust on top of that one. And torches on this side of the block. Okay, and now we will add solid blocks on top of those and more torches there. All right, and we will need one more block. Okay. There. All right, so we need to make this into a, a array, and all we're going to do for that is just throw a repeater right there. And now for this one, we just need to make sure that the repeater is at the second delay, because that will be going off of an observer right here. Okay. Now... Let's go ahead and make the fail system. So block there. We're going to have a repeater at the second delay again so that it can deactivate the torch right here. And the fail line will end up right here. So let's go ahead and mark that out. And it'll be going one past that. So dust, dust, dust. Okay, and now we will be just going straight across with uh, glass here so I can make it clear as to what's going on. And what we need is a repeating pattern. So the one that I figured out is you put the, the, the repeaters up here will have different delays as, as uh, far along as you go. And you need a torch on the side because what we're going to do is throw in dust here and a repeater here. And then that one would go into the next torch. You get the point. And then from here, what we need is a pattern where we go with re repeater there and dust here. Yeah. Okay. And so you would repeat that pattern, and that would just simply allow you, or prevent these torches from activating unless it is their turn in line. Okay, now for the fail line, we need some more blocks, solid blocks for an RS normal latch array right here. Okay, and it's going to be dust, dust, and dust. And now we need a torch there, and torch there. And the way I did it over there was I put a solid torch there, and a dust right there to connect to these torches that I haven't put in for the RS normal latch array. Okay, and that's our fail line. Perfect. Now we need our reset button first. So let's go ahead and put a, another, uh, we can make that a solid block. It goes into a note block. And then from there, we have a, another observer and that's going to go into this. Okay, and then we need a, another observer, solid block, and that will go into this uh, powered rail. Now for the enter, I just went with something rather simple. So let's go ahead and place that there, dust there, and this is where our detection will be for if we've got the proper combination. That's our output, and that can go into the in this in that case a uh, pulse extender. And now what we need is a way to reset it. So yeah, let's just go ahead and make it something simple like this. Okay. Now after some delay, once we hit enter, that one will in fact reset. One last thing, uh, we do need to add a uh, repeater here to deactivate the RS Norlatch in case it got activated, because there is that possibility that after you do hit enter, you could you could hit another button quick enough that it would activate the RS Norlatch. So let's also put that one at quite a bit of delay. Anyway, I think that's all I have for today, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.